and it's homebrew coming at ya. I've got a great beer today, I truly do. This is Boris the Crusher Oatmeal Stout. It's from Hop and Frog Brewery out of Akron, Ohio. This came to me out of a beer trade from Paul with PA Brew News. Uh, one that I've wanted to try for a long time. Quite excited about this one. If you notice on it, Boris has periods between each of the letters. That's because it stands for Bodacious Oatmeal Russian Imperial Stout. This is a 9.4% ABV and 60 IBU beer. All right, uh, let's get this one cracked and give it a shot. Okay, it's not a big head on this, but it's definitely there. And if you'll notice, this is a very much like a a caramel color, a dark caramel color on it. It came out just, you know, just black, really, truly. I mean, it's just dark as can be, very opaque in color. Um, nice looking beer, let's get a nose on it. Wow, okay, interesting impressions right off the top. This has uh, certainly some dark roasted malts, but I'm getting some dark fruit off of this as well, and just, like a hint of peanuts uh, on it, if I'm, if I'm not wrong. I also pick up alcohol, and it's almost like this ethyl alcohol kind of aroma. Um, very interesting. All right, there's some sweetness to this. Maybe a hint of vanilla, but I'm also getting kind of like, uh, not molasses, but sorghum because it's a little sweeter molasses type aroma on this. Um, it almost has a little bit of a burnt uh, uh, malt kind of characteristic, a little bit of that char characteristic on it. You know, I, I wish the chocolate was more dominant on it. It's not, I mean, the, that, that dark char roast uh, is very strong. Like I say, a little bit of the dark fruit could almost make me think a little bit of a, a hint of berry and maybe like um, I'm bouncing between plum and prune but I think a little more of the plum it's on the on the sweeter edge if I take short sniffs I pick up more of the chocolate aroma in it uh, but as I take longer sniffs I get more of the char flavors that's getting pretty technical there all right let's get a taste on this one cheers Oh wow, very interesting, very interesting beer. This is not at all what I expected, it's um, I don't know, I just think I was expecting something different. The mouth feels either kind of on that full end of medium or light end of full, just a lot of that char roasty flavor, but this interesting sweetness with that kind of like that sorghum flavor is, kind of gives it an odd sweet flavor. Um, we're also talking, uh, like I said, I think maybe a hint of vanilla, slightly creamy, a little bit of coffee, like maybe almost leaning towards the espresso side. There's a little bit of like, feels like possibly a hint of licorice on it. Um, and that might be some of those other flavors playing together, but nonetheless, it's there. And, and think I'm getting like a, a, a little bit of raisin on the dark fruit as well. It's almost like oily a little bit on the taste. Um, boy, that char flavor is really strong. And you do get the booziness off this a little bit. Um, and it kind of dries out, so it's a semi-dry finish on it. An interesting bear for sure. Uh, I'm going to let this sit a little bit, sip it a little more, and I'm gonna come back with some numbers. Well, this is an interesting, complex, complicated, I'll even say, beer. Um, a lot going on in some ways, and yet it hasn't changed that much. I, I, did, I am picking up more of the peanut butter now that it's warmed again, though. I find that really interesting. It's not a strong peanut butter, but it's, it's definitely present. Um, that's just a, such an interesting taste and this dark, dark 
roast with some dark, dark espresso and some char flavors is very predominant. So this is not your uh, milk chocolatey, uh, you know, with some woo, nice, you know, roasted coffee. This is a dark, dark beer. And that, that also explains how dark the beer is. There's just some extremely dark roast. I don't know what all they put into it. But like I said, I get molasses almost more towards that sorghum, very sweet type flavors in it. And, and even though it has this big sweet edge that honestly isn't super appealing with the dark white, it doesn't quite feel like they fit together just, just right. They just kind of miss a little bit. You know, with just this wisp of a hint of licorice on it. And, uh, um, and then these dry fruit aspects kind of come in. Um, so it works pretty well, and yet some of it's just slightly disjointed for my, my palate somehow. I just, and I just got a little bit of, a little bit lighter caramel in it. Well, I shouldn't say light. It's like a dark caramel still, <laughs> but, but lighter than that char flavor. Maybe that was a hint of a brown sugar coming in. Uh, that might be more descriptive of, of how that all blended. There's not that rich chocolate kind of flavor that I normally expect off a of Russian Imperial. I, it, these are very different flavors. So. Judging this as a Russian Imperial Stout, I'm going to say it's complex, it's good, it's interesting. That peanut butter is a, a hint of that peanut butter is just a nice dash, kind of sits on my tongue right now. But I can't rate it super, super high. Uh, as a Russian Imperial Stout, I'm going to say this is in the excellent category. I'm dropping it in at a 93. Now, for my personal taste, is different. I like odd interesting things. And this is just, yeah, the balance on this, it just keeps like, I feel like I'm on a roller coaster. But, but sometimes on a roller coaster, it's not perfect. You scream in the middle, right? <laughs> so it's kind of right there. So on my personal taste, I'm actually going to take it up a notch. I'm going up to a 95. I like the roller coaster ride. I like some of the flavors. Some just don't jump at me great. I think it's a borderline right between that uh, excellent and world-class level. 95, I think, is the score for me on my overall. This is a beer that's won a number of gold medals. Uh, it says right on the bottle, 2008 and 2011 gold medals at the Great American Beer Festival. Uh, I've been there, great fun time, and that's a big competition to get some medals at. This is Hoppin' Frogs. Boris, the Crusher Oatmeal Imperial Stout, or should I say Bodacious Oatmeal Russian Imperial Stout, the Crusher. Life's too short to drink cheap beers, friends, and I will see you in the next beer review.